Comp is, is a very nice tool to change how you interact with your computer. Although Compass is installed by default, you will have to install the Compass Config Settings Manager from the Software Center to configure it. Since CCSM can change important settings of your system, use it with caution and be prepared to troubleshoot your computer in case of problems. Skip this tutorial if you don't want to take risks. Once you have it installed, go to the Dash Home and type CCSM. As you can see, there are lots of configurations that you can tweak. Let's start with an enhancement of the workspace switcher. Instead of having the standard four spaces on the same surface, we will make the spaces be on four sides of a cube. Start by going to General, General Options, Desktop Size, and change the horizontal value size to 4. Then click on Back and then on Desktop. Enable the option Rotate Cube and accept the changes. If the Ubuntu Unity plugin has to be disabled and you can't see the top bar and the launcher, enable Ubuntu Unity plugin again. Then under Rotate Cube, Bindings, Initiate, you can see what combination of keys you need to type to start rotating the cube. Change them if you want to. Take a look at the other options like General, Zoom to adjust how the cube looks like. Now your workspaces are shown in a cool 3D cube. Another nice feature is the scale windows to have an overview of all open windows on your computer scaled down to fit your screen. By default it is set to the shortcut Shift Alt Up or also Super W. If you don't want to reach your keyboard to do this, you can assign scale window to a corner of your screen. To assign, let's say, the bottom right corner to trigger this, go to Window Management, Scale, Bindings, Initiate Window Picker, click on the button Disabled and then on the corner of the screen so that it becomes green. Now move your mouse to the corner of the screen and see if the action is triggered. Compass has really a lot of options and we can't see all of them here. If you want to discover more options, be careful not to do something that could break your interface. Unfortunately, this might happen when you tweak something and you're not quite sure how it works, so be cautious. Next, we will talk about choosing startup applications. 